three effective but easy to use and maintain tools are available to farmers throughout Madagascar. Provided by the Adventist Development and Relief Agency Madagascar and developed by Tillers International with the input of area farmers, these animal-powered tools can help you improve several important steps throughout the farming process. The ripper, like a plow, is used to prepare the ground for planting. Unlike a plow, a ripper doesn't invert the soil, but instead breaks a line through it. The planter drops seeds at regular intervals and then covers the seeds as it passes over them. Planting can be done quickly and reliably with a mechanical planter. The weeder is pulled between the rows of your crops and skims just under the soil to cut off weeds at their roots much faster than can be done by hand. Each tool is designed to be pulled by draft animals. The tool depth can be adjusted by simply connecting the chain either higher or lower on each tool's hitch point. By connecting the chain higher on the hitch point, the tool will go deeper into the soil. By connecting the chain lower on the hitch point, the tool will go less deeply into the soil. A ripper is a tool with a narrow metal shank that is pulled through the field to break lines in the soil for planting. The main parts of the ripper are the shoe, which opens the soil, and the crumbler wheel, which breaks up the large remaining chunks of soil, though not all rippers have a crumbler wheel. Both parts can be removed and replaced with weeding sweeps, which we will show later in this video. It is also possible to mount a ripper shoe onto your existing moldboard plow beam, though the results aren't as effective. The front wheel and the crumbler wheel should be raised or lowered until they are just in contact with the soil surface. Unlike a plow, you only pull the ripper in the line where you will plant seeds. The space between ripped rows is often as much as 80 centimeters, but will vary based on the crop and soil composition. As a result, the ripper reduces the time needed to prepare a field for planting. The ripper can be used across a variety of soil types and conditions, but has the greatest benefit in clay soils because the ripper shatters the hard clay into a finer texture, allowing for optimal root and water penetration. A mechanical planter is designed to plant in the rip lines and deliver seeds at a regular depth and spacing. The main parts of a mechanical planter are the seed bin, which holds the seeds. The seed plate, which is a round, flat disc with evenly spaced holes that controls the spacing between seeds. The chute, which drops the seed into the soil. The shoe, which opens the furrow and controls seeding depth. The press wheel, which covers the seed. And in some cases, the closer discs in front of a press wheel. Closer discs can be made by your local metal worker, but can only be added to planters with a long frame. Farmers wishing to plant crops other than maize or use a different seed spacing should have their local metal worker make them a new seed plate. The planter is designed to be used very soon after the first rains, as soon as you have done your second ripping. You can then plant into the rip lines immediately, as long as the soil is not too wet. If the soil is too wet, wait until it is drier before using the planter. Using the planter when the soil is too wet will clog the planter. The planter can be used in all soil types and is light enough to be pulled by a single donkey. The shoe should be lowered to the appropriate planting depth once the tool is in the rip line, but not before. When adding seeds to the planter, it is important to only fill the seed bin halfway. Overfilling the seed bin may clog the seed plate and stop it from working correctly. The weeder is designed to be pulled between crop rows to cut off weeds just below the soil surface. The main part of the weeder is the sweeps. There are many different configurations of weeders, but most have three sweeps. To attach the sweeps onto your toolbar, remove the press wheel and attach the two rear weeding sweeps. Remove the ripper shoe and attach the front weeding sweep to the ripper shank. Sweep width should be adjusted so that they cover at least half of the row spacing in a single pass. The mechanical weeder saves time by reducing the amount of hand weeding that needs to be done. All weeders work best if used as soon after planting as possible when weeds are just starting to appear. It is critical to use the weeder early and often. Generally, you want a sweep depth of 2 to 3 centimeters. The weeder can be used in all soil types, but is most effective if used when the soil is relatively dry. Drought-stressed weeds are easier to kill and less likely to reroot. It is best not to weed just before a rain. However, weeding before a rain is better than not weeding at all. Try to get the weeder as close to your crops as possible without touching it. 
These three tools made by Tillers International and brought to you by ADRA can help you and other farmers in your community save time and increase yields if used correctly. Thank you and thank you for watching.